Hey YouTube. Okay, today we're going to do a video on kind of a kind of a weird thing. Uh, this Frigidaire Retro Mini Beverage Refrigerator. It's thermoelectric. It doesn't have a compressor. Doesn't run on propane. It, uh, but it can run on 12 volts or AC. So let's take a look at it and see what we've got here. So, there's the fridge. It, uh, it comes with an AC power cable, and more importantly, it comes with a cigarette lighter plug attachment and plugs in to 12 volts. That just plugs in in the back here. There's a an on and off switch in the back so you can turn it off and on. There's a little handy carrying handle so you can carry it. How much does it hold? Well it says it holds four cans down here, 12 ounce cans, and two cans up here. So conceivably you could keep four cans of soda and maybe you know something up here like a sandwich or bowl of fruit, maybe a yogurt or something like that. My big question is, can I plug it into the Suayoki solar generator and run it on that? All right, so obviously I'm going to need the Suayoki cigarette lighter plug adapter. Plug the refrigerator into that. First thing I'm going to do is get a base reading for what this refrigerator temperature is right now before we start out. So I'm getting a reading of 77. Let's get a reading of the top of it. The outside is 94 degrees so out here it's quite a bit hotter than it is in here. Yeah so outside temperature is about the same about 77 degrees. So I've got some room temperature drinks Let's get a reading on that. Yeah, so it's roughly the same, about 79 degrees. So we'll just go ahead and put those in. There we go. And remember, with a refrigerator, thermal mass is everything. If it's going to refrigerate and cool stuff, things that are going to take on cold, as opposed to air, which isn't going to take on any cold. All right, we've got it loaded up. Turn on the Suayoki. Now we're going to turn the fridge on. There we go. I can hear the fan turning in it. On the Suayoki here, it's saying it's using approximately 37 watts. So we're going to just leave this run for a while, maybe an hour. Stay tuned. It'll only be a second for you. Okay, so here we go. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it, it wasn't like an hour for me. It's it was like the next day. Yeah, I came back several times and checked the temperature. And last night I took a soda out. I put another one in so it would get cold. Um, and the and the soda was definitely ice cold. I mean, it was good. It is opened up. Uh, it's 58 degrees on the door. The beverage is 50, 55, we'll call it. Let's zoom in and see if you can see that screw. There we go. Right back there. See that screw? So I'm going to put the number on there. The screw is actually 32 degrees, so it's frozen. Uh, so my take on this little refrigerator is, is it, is it capable of conducting the cold air onto the products inside? Yeah, I'd say it's doing a pretty good job. I might play around with it, but 
The bottom line is, if somebody needs to keep something cold in a vehicle, uh, maybe you need to, uh, to refrigerate medicine, or you just want to have a, a drink, a sandwich, some yogurt, that kind of thing, you don't really want to get into all the big refrigerator situations like we have in these vans. You're in a car, you just want something small to hold something on a daily basis, keep something cool, then something like this would be, would be fine. Ideally, you'd want to have maybe like a 60 or 70 watt solar panel. Uh, you could probably do, with a, do better with a 100 watt solar panel. But one thing I noticed is on here, we were about 38 degrees. And when I plugged it into house current, it actually drew more house current here. And more power equates with better refrigerating. So on house current, yes, it does a little bit better. Is it worth the money? Well, this is $45 on Amazon. One of the lowest price refrigerators, which would be a real small truck fridge refrigerator, at about $399. I think once in a while I've seen a fridge for $2.99 that's a real actual compressor fridge. So the difference is, you know, sixfold. Is really something like this more to your liking? It's an envir a cool environment, basically. Is it a real bona fide refrigerator? I wouldn't say so. I would, I would classify it as a cooler an electrified cooler that doesn't require ice. So that being said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it would help somebody, please share it with them. If you'd like to get more content like this, then subscribe and ring the bell, and you'll be notified when new content gets posted. Thanks for watching, and as always, comment as you see fit. Till the next video. See you later.